Everybody, this is the new Cybertruck. So first of all, I know you're thinking, we'll just get that elephant out of the room. Painting it yellow makes it look kind of like a dumpster. And that might be where you guys are getting kind of confused because this is the new one. This is the new one. You can see they kept that dark tint on the window there. I'm not sure if that's going to be legal or not in most states. You got your little door door sills there. Still doesn't have an actual doorknob to it. So door handle to it. So we just said the other one was. However, the other elf in the room is that I won't be able to get into this one to give you like an inside review because the owner got it wet. And as soon as you get these trucks wet, they lock down. This one went into full brick. He's not able to get inside of it. And that good thing he was outside when it happened. Not able to get inside of it. Everything's locked down. So it's going to have to do the exterior view, exterior review on this truck. So I'm sorry it's going to be a little bit shorter because of that. But I can tell you what the inside looks like. If you look inside. No? Yeah. So with these trucks, sometimes, not always, you get a buildup of tools or trash on the inside of the truck itself. And usually those tools or that trash will want to talk to you about Bitcoin and about leveraging debt. So make sure you're being very careful when you approach one of these trucks because sometimes that trash tends to leak out. Um, secondly, as you can tell, it does have some rust spots right here, right in here. It, it's a brand new truck, but with the cyber trucks being the way they are, unfinished, I would say, with that exposed stainless steel, you are having a lot of trucks having some rust issues. And combining that rust issue with some of the sharp edges, be very careful. Very careful of the frunk right in here. Be very careful when you open up the door. And also right here in the back, we've had a lot of people be cut. And that mixture of being cut and also with the rust, not a good mixture. Not at all. Okay? So be very careful. Let's take a look around and see what's new. So as you can tell here from the back, we do keep that brake light all the way over. I kind of like that with Tesla's, how they have that brake light all the way across the back. Also, as you can tell, it's very flat. It's still going to be just very flat. And that's kind of how they were, and that's how they're going to be, I feel like, for the rest for the rest of time. Um, standard Tesla Cybertruck um, build quality. I don't want to... I need to tell you guys about that. Um, and also, as far as build quality goes, they did one thing good, and they made the body of this guy super strong. I'm going to knock on the window there. Super strong. I don't want to break that. We know how that went in the press release. Very strong. And also something you got to realize is that it's, it is going to be that more unibody style. I know it's not, but with everything being built on that same type of exoskeleton, it's going to be very strong. So make sure that if you're ever in a parking lot and there's a cyber truck in front of you, get out of the way because they are very dangerous as far as being very strong, very fast. And also they have these sharp lines on them, as I talked about before. So basically if there's one coming at you, it's just going to be like a flying butcher's knife. As you can tell here in the front, they do have that dark window. Once again, I'm not sure if that's going to be um, legal in your state. Let's look at it and see. The other thing I do enjoy, though, is they do have that front headlight that goes all the way across. I feel like that, that's, that's two things that Tesla did really well with their Cybertruck, is having that headlight and that brake light go all the way the length of the vehicle. A little windy here. Sorry, you might be picking that up, but when you have the chance to you know, review a Cybertruck, you just take that opportunity no matter what the weather is. But, like I said, kind of a quick review since I'm not able to get inside of it. Like I said before, you know, Tesla Cybertruck build quality. You've had people having issues with, with raccoons getting into their, their tunnel cover there in the bed of the truck. We do have the rust issues. Now that I previously stated, you know, this is a relatively new one, but they do tend to pick up rust rather quickly. And we can't get inside of this one. It did get wet. It did lock down. Also be careful because sometimes these guys do tend to catch flame. Uh, I'll put a picture up here, that one that's in kind of like the beach that's on fire. And really, as soon as they catch on fire, it's just going to be a big dumpster fire. So just be very careful when that happens. Um, just be aware of what's going on. And don't cut yourself. Edges are very square, very sharp. 
especially that guy in the back. Those edges are so square, it looks almost homemade, but who am I to judge? Well, thanks for listening in, guys. <laughs>